Hello everyone and a very good evening to all of you and welcome to Baiju's exam prep, the most comprehensive preparation app for all exams. So as we all know <coughs> that except CAT, uh, you will find in other MBA exams, GK and current affairs being asked like ZAT, IFT, CMAT, TISNET, etc. So this is current affairs and GK important sections are very important for you. So today's uh, quiz is basically based on that. ठीक है तो उसमें ये होगा कि we'll be giving you current affairs as well as some static questions also either it will be a current affairs or static question based on the previous year pattern okay so let's start how to join the quiz it's very easy uh, just go to www.menti.com written on the top of my screen whatever web browser you are using be it google chrome opera firefox आप जो भी uh, web browser use करते हो net searching के लिए Google हुआ, uh, Google Chrome हुआ, Opera हुआ, Firefox हुआ, whatever Microsoft Edge etc. So just search www.menti.com, M-E-N-T-I.com. आपको जाना है और सिर्फ menti.com search करना है. देखो स्क्रीन के टॉप में लिखा हुआ. You can see it here. M-E-N-T-I.com. So when you search menti.com, they will be asking you a code. जब आप उसकी वेबसाइट पर जाओगे. तो आपसे एक कोड पूछा जाएगा सो हेयर द कोड इज रेटर ऑन द टॉप ऑफ माय स्क्रीन टू फोर थ्री एट सेवन फोर सेवन फाइव ओके करना क्या है मेंटी डॉट कॉम पे जाना है एम ई एन टी आई डॉट कॉम मेंटी डॉट कॉम पे जाना है आपसे एक कोड पूछा जाएगा कोड स्क्रीन के ऊपर में लिखा हुआ है टू फोर थ्री एट सेवन फोर सेवन फाइव एंड ज्वाइन इट फास्ट फटाफट आप ज्वाइन कर लीजिए आई एम वेटिंग फॉर योर फॉर यू टू ज्वाइन एंड देन वी विल स्टार्ट द क्वेज So if anyone is watching, again I am telling you how to join. मैं फिर बता रहा हूँ कैसे join करना है. आपको menti.com देखो screen के ऊपर में लिखा हुआ है. M E N T I dot com menti dot com डालना है. Google पे search करना है. तो वो जो website आएगी उसको open करना है menti dot com. जब आप menti dot com पे जाओगे आपसे एक code पूछा जाएगा. When you go to menti dot com, they will be asking you a code. So enter the code written the top of my screen two four three eight seven four seven five and join it fast. मैं वेट कर रहा हूं आई एम वेटिंग फॉर द पीपल टू ज्वाइन देन आफ्टर वी विल स्टार्ट आवर क्विज इज़ वाचिंग अगेन आई एम टेलिंग यू कैसे ज्वाइन करना है क्विज जस्ट गो टू मेंटी डॉट कॉम आप जो भी वेब ब्राउजर चलाते हो गूगल क्रोम ओपेरा फायर फॉक्स विच एवर वेब ब्राउजर यू आर यूजिंग जस्ट सर्च डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट मेंटी डॉट कॉम एम ई एन टी आई डॉट कॉम रिटर्न द टॉप ऑफ माई स्क्रीन वंस यू रीच ऑन मेंटी डॉट कॉम दे बी आस्किंग यू अ कोड So enter the code written on the top of my screen two four three eight seven four seven five. तो आपको code डालना है two forty three eight seventy four seventy five and join it fast. I am waiting for your for you all to join. एक लोगों ने join किया बाकी लोग भी जो जो लोग live देख रहे हैं सब को फटा फट join कर लें so that we can start the quiz. This quiz is based on current affairs and static questions which are asked in ZAT, IFT etc. ठीक है so shall we start? I am waiting for other people to join. Uh, now uh, this is the last time I am saying. Now I will start after that. I will start the quiz. How to join it? Just go Google search www.menti.com. You can see written on the top of my screen. They will be asking you a code after you reach menti.com. So the enter the code two four three eight seven four seven five written on the top of my screen and join it fast. So let's start the quiz. Uh, if you want, you can answer in the live chat also. So the first question is: Who among the following has become the PM of UK recently? Rishi Sunak, Parag Agarwal, David Cameron, none of the above. Actually, he became uh, very, very famous, and that is why you should be knowing it. Uh, the right answer to this question is Rishi Sunak. Uh, he is uh, Indian origin. I hope you are aware. Means, and that is why uh, he became very famous in India. So, uh, अभी रिसेंटली यूके इंग्लैंड के जो प्रधानमंत्री बने हैं उनका नाम है ऋषि सुनक सो ए इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर टू सो क्वेश्चन नंबर टू से इज ऋषि सुनक इज द सन इन लॉ ऑफ अ वेरी फेमस इंडियन बिजनेस मैन हुज नेम इज रतन टाटा नारायण मूर्ति गौतम अदानी मुकेश अंबानी 
आपको ये बताना है ऋषि सुनक जो कि अभी नए प्रधानमंत्री बने इंग्लैंड के ही इज द न्यू प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंग्लैंड ही इज द सन इन लॉ ऑफ अ वेरी फेमस बिजनेसमैन फ्रॉम इंडिया हिज नेम इज मिस्टर नारायण मूर्ति ही इज वन ऑफ द फाउंडर ऑफ इंफोसिस इंफोसिस इज अ वेरी फेमस कंपनी आईटी कंपनी आई होप यू आर अवेयर यू ऑल शुड बी अवेयर ऑफ इंफोसिस यस सो द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज बी इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री so question number 3 says let's see the question number 3 he was considered as the steel man of india he died recently what is his name your options are jamshed ji tata jamshed j irani rakesh jhunjhuwala none of the above unko steel man of india kaha jata tha abhi recently kuch din pehle unka dehant hua hai aapka na, aapko unka naam batana hai actually he was very much in the news that is why i am asking this question the right answer is b jamshed j irani is the right answer देखो जमशेद जी टाटा वाज़ द फाउंडर ऑफ टाटा बट ही हैज नॉट डाइड रिसेंटली मैंने क्वेश्चन किया पूछा अभी रिसेंटली उनका डेथ हुआ सो जमशेद जी टाटा हैज नॉट डाइड रिसेंटली सो दैट इज व्हाई यू कुड हैव आंसर्ड इट कि ए तो ऑप्शन नहीं होगा सो द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज बी जमशेद जे ईरानी ही वाज़ फेमसली कॉल्ड एज स्टील मैन ऑफ इंडिया उनको स्टील मैन ऑफ इंडिया भी कहा जाता था सो बी इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन लेट्स मूव ऑन to the leaderboard uh, dekha jaye do logo ne join kiya guys everyone please press the like button share this video and subscribe to our channel everyone and you can join the quiz it is written how to join the upar mein jana dekho it's written on the top of my screen just search www.menti.com m e n t i.com they will be asking you a code so enter the code 2438745 theek hai and join it fast so rank 1 is familiar and uh, johnny is rank 2 let's move on to the next one that is question number 4 so question number 4 says who among the following died in august 2022 who was also known as india's varan buffet your options are rakesh jhunjhuwala jamshed ji tata cyrus mystery cyrus punawala uh, yes very good two people uh, both the people have answered it correctly so rakesh jhunjhuwala he was considered as uh, one of the successful stock market investor uh, he was famously called as india's varan buffet uh, he died recently uh, two months back two three months back in august 2022 so a is the right answer to this question since you are from you are going in a business field you must be knowing about news associated with business and all so most likely they will be asking such type of questions uh, let's move on to the next one uh the next is question number 5 and question number 5 says rakesh junjhuwala before his death launched which of the following aeroplane company i would say hardly 15 20 days or maybe at max one month before his death uh, he uh, actually was instrumental in launching this airline company your options are sahara air spice jet indigo akasha air in fact he traveled on that first plane also yes the right answer is option b uh, option d akasha air is the right answer to this question so before his death uh, mr rakesh junjhuwala actually launched an aeroplane company uh, or you can say airline company called as akasha air so d is the right answer to this question guys everyone please press the like button we are seeing only four likes so sabko fatafat -fat like button press kar do okay so let's move on to the next one that is question number 6 so question number 6 says the question number 6 from which country eight cheetahs were brought to india recently this is very very important it was coming in the news again and again and that is why it is very important your options are south africa libya egypt namibia so i hope you are aware uh, it became very famous that cheeta uh, uh, india uh, actually in india there was no cheeta left so it was brought from this country and uh, what is that country yes very good all the three people are right the right answer to this question is namibia harsh vijay you are also right from youtube yes so d is the right answer to this question namibia is the right answer okay so let's move on to another question a very important question but before that let's see the leader board सो लीडर बोर्ड देखा जाए कौन कहां कहां पर है यस सो रैंक वन इज फैमिलियर फास्टेस्ट देन जॉनी सेकंड रैंक एंड टॉम इज रैंक थर्ड सो लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन दैट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन से 
चीता दैट वेर ब्रॉड टू इंडिया फ्रॉम नामीबिया वेर शेल्टर्ड इन विच नेशनल पार्क ऑफ इंडिया योर ऑप्शन आर कूनू नेशनल पार्क जिम कॉर्बेट नेशनल पार्क काजरेंगा नेशनल पार्क नन ऑफ द अब जो चीता को नामीबिया से लाया गया अभी आठ चीता को वो कौन से नेशनल पार्क में रखा गया यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड अबाउट दैट नेशनल पार्क इट वाज कमिंग एट द न्यूज एंड यू मस्ट बी नोइंग दैट ओके सो आई एम वेटिंग फॉर योर आंसर्स लेट्स सी हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू कैन आंसर इट करेक्टली यू कैन आंसर इट इन लाइव चैट ऑन यूट्यूब ऑल्सो येस द राइट आंसर इज ए इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इट वॉज एक्चुअली कूनू नेशनल पार्क और समटाइम्स कॉल्ड एज कूनू पलपुर नेशनल पार्क सो ए इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन so let's move on to another question uh, the next is question number 8 and question number 8 says since we are talking about kunu national park uh, the question is kunu national park is in which state uh, this is the park where eight cheetahs were brought from nigeria so uh, your options are uttar pradesh madhya pradesh tamil nadu gujarat where do you find this kunu national park what is the right answer to this question Yes, the right answer is very good. Uh, B is the right answer. It's Madhya Pradesh is the right answer to this question. So, Kunu Palpur National Park, or you can say Kunu National Park, is in Madhya Pradesh, where eight cheetahs were brought from Namibia. Namibia is a country in Africa continent. They can ask these types of question because it was very much in the news. So, B is the right answer to this question. Everyone, please press the like button, guys. Let's move on to the next one. That is question number nine. So question number nine says, UNFCCC, that is United Nation Framework Convention on Climate Change, COP twenty seven, Conference of Parties twenty seven, is starting from today, that is sixth November. It is organized in which country? Egypt, Libya, Morocco, USA. So this is called also called as Environment Summit. Uh, generally, we call it as Environment Meetings, which happen every year. So COP twenty seven conference of parties twenty seven is starting from today. Which country? And if you know the country, please write in the live chat which city. Yes, the right answer is A Egypt. So there is a city in Egypt called as Sharm el Sheikh. Sharm el Sheikh is a city in Egypt where UNFCCC COP twenty seven, that is United Nation Framework Convention on Climate Change COP twenty seven, has started. So A is the right answer to this question. Uh, the next one is. leaderboard let's see the leaderboard now yes rank 1 is familiar fastest also then johnny then deb okay let's move on to the next one that is question number 10 so question number 10 says on 9th november 2022 justice dy chandrachud will take over as the dashed chief justice of india 48 64th 29th 50th so after two or three days we will be having a new chief justice of india his name is justice dy chandrachud so these are very famous questions that which number chief justice of india will be 48 for 64 29th 50th what is the right answer to this question yes uh, the right answer is option d is the right answer to this question so he will be the 50th chief justice of india that is half century so it is easy for you to remember now so please remember d is the right answer to this question justice dy chandrachud will be the 50th chief justice of india currently who is the chief justice of india so right now the chief justice of india is justice uju lalit okay yes let's move on to the next one the next one is question number 11 so question number 11 says who administers the oath of chief justice of india see if you see the zat previous year question they have asked questions from polity from constitution etc so since new chief justice of india is going to be appointed very soon so you should be knowing it administers the oath ka matlab hota hai kon oath aapne dekha hoga ki chief justice of india oath lete hain to koi hote hain matlab koi office holder hote hain jo oath dilwate hain jisko hum log hindi mein kehte hain administers the oath so basically it is the president of india who administers the oath of the new chief justice of india so b is the right answer to this question uh, you will be seeing on 9th november 3 days later you can see on the tv or in photo and all that uh, chief justice of india will be taking oath and it will be the president of india who will be administering the oath so b is the right answer to this question okay 
yes uh, let's move on to the next one the question number 12 and question number 12 says g20 summit 2022 is going to happen in where your options are india indonesia china uk this is also very important because it is going to happen in the same month that is november i think 15th november around 15th november g20 summit is going to happen is going to start okay so it is going to have start in which country india indonesia china uk yes uh, the right answer to this question is b indonesia is the right answer to this question uh, some people have answered india so in india g20 summit is going to happen next year that is in 2023 so do not get confused i am asking about 2022 g20 summit so this year it is going to happen in indonesia and next year it is going to happen in india so here the right answer to this question is b is the right answer to this question okay so let's see the leaderboard so rank 1 is familiar rank 2 is johnny the fastest then deb then kathy so let's move on to the next question that is question number 13 so question number 13 says leslie jordan died recently he was a what architect actor journalist businessman what is the right answer to this question so you have to tell me recently he is actually from usa and those who watch cinema and all they must be aware of it yes so he was an he was an actor leslie jordan he died recently and he was an actor from usa so b is the right answer to this question just go and read something about it uh, let's move on to the next one uh, the next is question number 14 and question number 14 says 90th interpol general assembly was held recently in new delhi mumbai pune chennai so interpol international police organization i hope you are aware so its general assembly was recently held uh, in which city of india actually it happened in india so you have to tell me the name of the city where it happened yes the right answer is a new delhi is the right answer to this question so 90th interpol general assembly actually held in a pragati maidan in delhi so a is the right answer to this question uh, let's move on to the next one that is question number 15 which says recently in which city of gujarat bridge collapsed killing around 135 people a very unfortunate incident happened uh, i hope you are aware of it you must be following it your options are bhuj morbi ahmedabad porbandar in which city a uh, recently a uh, bridge unfortunately a pedestrian bridge collapsed and it killed around 135 people uh, yes you all are right it's option b morbi is the right answer to this question morbi is a city in gujarat i think few days back four five days back this unfortunate incident happened so some uh, news articles were saying 141 deaths some were saying uh, so it's around 135 we can say 135 plus so b is the right answer to this question yes mohit upadhyay right more b is the place where this unfortunate incident happened okay uh, let's move on to the next one that is leaderboard so leaderboard dekha jai yes familiar is rank one then johnny then static is rank three fastest then deb so let's move on to the next one that is question number 16 so question number 16 says who is the first field marshal of independent india uh, this is a question from zat last year so please correct it it's uh, uh, actually uh, 2022 means actually last attempt so because it happens in january so that is why we are writing zat 2022 your options are sam maneksha as vadya km karyapa bepin rawat so first field marshal of independent India. you must be knowing the previous year question at least Anna? so whenever the uh, whenever uh, you are preparing for any exam you should see the previous year question which type of questions they are asking so he was actually first field marshal was sam maniksha so a is the right answer to this question okay 
यस गाइस एवरीवन प्लीज प्रेस द लाइक बटन जो जो लोग देख रहे हैं एवरीवन प्लीज प्रेस द लाइक बटन शेयर दिस इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो विद योर फ्रेंड्स सो दैट योर फ्रेंड्स कैन आल्सो गेट बेनिफिट फ्रॉम इट ओके एंड सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल आल्सो ओके सो लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द लीडर बोर्ड so familiar is rank 1 fastest then johnny then static then dave then metal so let's move on to the next one that is question number 17 and question number 17 says what is the full form of nft in the context of blockchain this is a zat 2022 question non fakeable token non fungible token neo fictitious token non fundable tax <clears throat> nft this was also asked in exam zat 2022 this year happened in january yes so you have to tell me that what is the full form of nft in fact in uh, budget this year also nft was very much in the news yes nft stands for non fungible token so b is the right answer to this question so these types of questions why i give you previous year question also because this will help you analyze which types of questions they are asking okay so that it will be helpful for you to prepare in the same direction okay yes let's move on to the next one that is question number 18 and question number 18 says what is zoonosis this is also a question uh, why i am telling you first read the question and then answer it first is disease which can be transmitted to humans from animals second is study of zoonosis disease which can be transmitted to humans from zoo animals only none of the above what is the right answer to this question see after uh, you can say uh, when covid started uh, was in the news from 2020 uh, 2020 or 2021 it was very much in the news so zoonosis or zoonotic disease is the disease which is transferred from animal to human so a is the right answer to this question and one of the one of the best example of zoonotic disease is covid 19 itself aids covid 19 uh ebola these are considered as zoonotic diseases they have come from some sort of animal okay so a is the right answer to this question okay yes let's move on to the next one that is question number 19 so question number 19 is in front of you uh, read the question carefully and then answer it maitri and bharti are the names of this is also a previous year question of zat theek hai this is a zat i think 2021 or 2022 question that maitri and bharti are the names of indian research station in arctic indian peace mission to somalia indian diplomatic mission to iceland indian research station in antarctica maitri and bharti uh, bharti very important let's see how many of you can answer it correctly yes the right answer to this question is option d indian research station in antarctica maitri and bharti are the names of indian research station in antarctica so d is the right answer to this question okay so let's move on to the next one and that is the leader board dekha jaye leader board mein ab kon kahan kahan par hai so johnny is rank 1 johnny or familiar ke beech uh, neck 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 and neck competition hai so let's see uh, johnny is rank 1 fastest then familiar then static then dave then metal then simba Uh, let's move on to the next one and that is question number 20 so question number 20 says capital of jamaica is what so basically this was actually asked in match the following so since in mentic quiz i cannot give you in match the following format so i am giving you a straight question answer format capital of jamaica is port of spain kingston georgetown havana what is the right answer to this question yes Uh, the right answer is b option b kingston is the right answer to this question so the capital of jamaica jamaica is one of the countries of west indies island i hope you are aware also called as caribbean islands so the capital of jamaica is kingston b is the right answer to this question let's move on to the next one that is question number 21 and question number 21 says capital of cuba is what this was also asked actually in a match the following in zat 2021 and i am giving you as a straight forward question your options are port of spain havana georgetown paris cuba is a very famous latin american country you will find just south of usa yes 
Cuba is very famous. Uh, the option, the right option to this question is Havana. B is the right answer to this question. So capital of Cuba is Havana. Okay. Please remember it. Uh, this you will find uh, something south of Florida from USA. Uh, you will find this, uh, you can say, Florida is a province in USA and south of Florida somewhere you will find Cuba, okay? And the capital is Havana. B is the right answer to this question. Let's move on to the next one. That is question number 22. So question number 22 says, In India, where did Mahatma Gandhi staged his first major Satyagraha in 1917, ZAT 2021. This is a very, very, very important history question, modern Indian history question. Your options are Sabarmati, Champaran, Vankaner, Dandi. What is the right answer to this question? So Gandhi ji came back from South Africa on 9th January 1915. And after that one year, he traveled the entire India. And in 1917, it is very famous on the northwest of Bihar. There's a district called as Champaran. At that time, it was called as Champaran district, but now in Bihar, we have East Champaran, West Champaran district. Earlier, it was a one district. It was called as Champaran district in Bihar. So, Gandhiji started his first major Satyagraha in India from Champaran 1917. Uh, it was actually to protest against Teen Kathia system. Go and read something about Teen Kathia system against which Mahatma Gandhi protested and finally British had to agree and British uh, revoked or repealed the concept of the Inkatiya system. So B is the right answer to this question. Let's move on to the next one that is leaderboard. Dekha jai, kahan, kahan pe hai log? Yes, so familiar again is rank one fastest than Johnny. So there's a neck and neck competition between familiar and Johnny. Then uh, rank 3 is Static, then Metal, then Deb, and then Simba. So let's move on to the next one. The next is question number 23. So question number 23 says, Who authored the famous book Economy of Permanence? This is also a ZAT 2021 question. Vinoba Bhave, Bal Gangadhar Tilak, JC Kumarappa, Ritta Malai Sirinivasan. What is the right answer to this question? Economy of Permanence is a book written by whom? It's a previous year question, so you must be knowing this answer. That is why I emphasize on previous year question a lot. Yes, what is the right answer, guys? Yes, the right answer to this question is option C. J.C. Kumarappa is the right answer to this question. So he was the author of the book titled Economy of Permanence. This is a previous year question, so you should be knowing it. Let's move on to the next one that is question number 24. So question number 24 says, who is the first deputy managing director of IMF? Very, 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 very important. Your options are Anshula Kant, Kristalina Georgieva, David Malpas, Geeta Gopinath. First deputy managing director of IMF. What is the right answer to this question? Uh, actually, uh, Okay, first answer it, then I will tell you. First Deputy Managing Director of IMF, this appointment happened in January this year. So you must be knowing it. The answer to this question is yes, Geeta Gopinath is the right answer to this question. Since she is an Indian origin lady, it becomes even more important for you to remember. So D is the right answer to this question. First Deputy Managing Director of IMF, that is International Monetary Fund is Geeta Gopinath. Okay, go and find out what is the headquarter, where is the headquarter of IMF, where is the headquarter of World Bank, who is the uh, president of World Bank, who is the managing director of uh, World Bank, uh, IMF, go and find out these questions, answers. Okay, uh, let's move on to the next one, that is question number 25. So question number 25 says, uh, who was the first woman chief minister in independent India? This is also an important modern history question. Nandani Satpathi, Anwara Taimur, Sarojini Nado, Suchita Kriplani. Uh, this is a post-independence, after independence, uh, you can say, uh, who was the first woman chief minister after 15th August 1947. Yes, uh, it's very famous actually, yes, Suchita Kriplani, she became the chief minister of Uttar Pradesh, UP, and she was the first woman CM in independent India. So D is the right answer to this question. 
Uh, let's move on to the next one that is leaderboard. So let's see the leaderboard now. So now family Johnny is rank one fastest, then familiar, then static, then metal, then Simba, and then Deb. So we are seeing the neck and neck competition between Johnny and familiar. Let's see who will win. Who will win? Let's move on to the next one, the question number 26, which says. Who is the director general of WHO, World Health Organization? Uh, it's a Zach question. Uh, it was there in the news because he was coming in the news due to COVID. And he has been reappointed recently also. So it becomes important even this year also. The director general of WHO, that is World Health Organization, is Mr. Tedros Adhanom. And he is from Ethiopia, which is a country in Africa. Uh, some person, uh, one person has attempted option D, Antonio Guterres, which is not correct. Antonio Guterres is the United Nations Secretary General. So option D is Antonio Guterres is United Nations Secretary General. My question was, who is the Director General of WHO, that is World Health Organization? And the answer to this question is Tedros at the norm. So A is the right answer. And recently, I think few months back, he was reappointed as the Director General of WHO. Now, Let's move on to the next question that is the last question of the day. So the last question says, who was the last Viceroy of India? Uh, I hope you are aware Viceroy was the, uh, you can say, head of India during the British rule. Anna. So your options are Lord Garzan, Lord Mountbatten, Lord Wellesley, Lord Irwin. What is the right answer to this question? Yes, very good. So the right answer to this question is Lord Mountbatten was the last Viceroy of India. So when India got independence on 15th August 1947, Lord Mountbatten was the Viceroy of India. So B is the right answer to this question. So let's see the final leaderboard. Dekha jai, uh, koon finally jeete. Johnny or familiar ki beech kaanti ki takkar thi. But let's see who will be the final winner. So the final winner is Johnny, very good, fastest, then familiar also has performed very well, thoda sa ka bas farak tha. then others have also performed very well. Guys, uh, there's a request, please press the like button, share this video, subscribe to our channel. And one more thing, this class is for learning purpose more. If you are not getting good marks, no problem, but learn, this is a process of learning that will be helpful in the examination. Okay, so thank you everyone. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.